What's up guys, welcome to Tech with Nick. I'm your host Niklas and today I'm going to show you a neat little trick to how you can install WireGuard on your Raspberry Pi so you can access your home network wherever you are. Alright, but what exactly is WireGuard? You might have heard the name, but what is it? WireGuard is a newly developed VPN protocol. WireGuard is developed for speed. It's simple to use, it's simple to configure, and with the way I'm going to show you how to configure it, it's a step-by-step -step guide where you pretty much just hit enter. But what's special about WireGuard is it's optimized for speed, so you'll get the highest throughput. This is really good if you have a server or anything else you want to stream through and, and you're setting this up on that, or you're using the Raspberry Pi as a, a VPN hub. The next good thing about WireGuard is it's only around 4,000 lines of code. OpenVPN is a lot more. It has a minimal attack surface. So if you keep it updated, you can do that automatically. But if you do that, it's it's one of the more secure solutions, especially because you're going to open up your network, but you don't want anyone else to access through your WireGuard connection. The benefits of this and what I'm going to show you is just how simple it is to set up. And especially if you're using a mobile, this won't really use much of your battery on your mobile phone. And you can easily, with, with the help of a QR code, connect directly from your phone to the WireGuard and I'll show you exactly how to do that so let's get started all right guys before we install WireGuard you need to make sure your Raspberry Pi is updated so what you need to do run your sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade that's why all right and with that done we can now install curl that's all you need to install the WireGuard on your Raspberry Pi and curl is installed in most systems so you might not even need to install it but if you do you can just run this sudo apt install curl that's why and you should get it right on your Raspberry next step is to install the Pi VPN bash script I'll leave a link down in the description below where you can see the command for this but it's quite simple it's the curl l and the address to the pi vpn password all right and then you'll see this installer screen so all this is telling you is the wireguard when installed will transform your raspberry pi into an open vpn or wireguard server just hit okay to that next thing ask you to set a static ip if you haven't done that already it's a good time to do it now you need to set your interface i'll just be using my standard eth connection i do have a couple of dark containers running and that's why there's another network as i've already set this as a static ip i'll just be keeping this if you haven't set a static IP before you can set no here and you'll be able to set it up then you need to set a local user that holds your configuration details I'll just use mine this step you can choose either to use WireGuard or OpenVPN I do recommend using WireGuard if you want to you can pick OpenVPN and configure it this way I will not be going into details on how to configure OpenVPN in this video if you like a video about that please let me know in the comments and I'll make one for this one we'll choose WireGuard now I'd ask you if you want to use another port I just leave mine as the standard one if you got any other service running on this port I would recommend to change it as I already have Pi-hole installation installed on this Raspberry Pi did ask me to use that as the DNS server. If you don't have a Pi-hole, check out this video to show you how to set it up. If you don't want to set up a Pi-hole which blocks ads on the network, you can use Cloudflare, which is the recommended one, as they delete the logs every 24 hours. But I'll be using my Pi-hole as my DNS server. Alright, next step, you need to choose whether or not to use a public IP or a DNS name. If you do have a static public IP, I do recommend to use that, or you can create a DNS entry and use that as your. I'll just be using my regular IP and I'll reduce generate all the server keys needed to connect through WireGuard. The next step here is really important, especially because you have an open server directly to the internet. But this does ask you if you want to leave unattended upgrades enabled, and I do recommend you do that. This will prevent any future exploits or anything. All right, so now we have installed WireGuard on our Raspberry Pi. We need to reboot the Raspberry Pi, and then we're able to add a new user. So I'll be back once my Pi has rebooted. All right, guys, with the Pi rebooted, we're ready to get going. We need to add a new Pi VPN user account. We need to add a sudo Pi VPN a command you need to enter a name for your clients just enter my own name the configuration file is now added to your configuration folder the next step would be to add your configuration if you're going to use a phone i recommend downloading the wireguard app adding a qr code directly from your pi so what you need to do is write your pi vpn dash qr and the profile name in my case that will be nicholas and this will pop up a qr code which you can scan with your wireguard app on your android or iphone and next, I'm going to pull up my WireGuard app here. Press the Add Tunnel. And here you just select Create from QR Code. Now you need to give your connection a name. And with this done, we now have a direct connection with your VPN. Now you have a VPN set up on your Pi and ready to go. If you like this video, please hit the like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you know about any future videos I'll make. I highly appreciate it. 